Okay, hi guys, uh, Sensei here. I'm of course in my new office today, overlooking KLCC. So somebody asked me a question in the group, you know, if you have RM100K, 100,000 ringgit, is it worth it? Can you make money in IPOs? I've got two perspectives to the answers. And this is how a good investor, a world-class investor answers, okay? Because nothing is really uh, black or white. There's shades of gray. So listen, if you have RM100K, uh, can you make money in IPOs? Yes. Definitely yes, because you're going to reduce your risk. Is it worth it? No, it's not. Because the returns you get are so low. I mean, if you talk about moving in and out, and if you are a booby putra like me, and can get like 7 8% in ASP, it's better to stick it in ASP. Because, you know, if you apply for 100K of IPOs, you're not going to get 100K in terms of uh, this one. Rolling money into the IPOs, you're probably going to get 2 3K, 5K into the IPO, and you're going to make a lot of gains there. So it's not worth it, okay? You need to think in terms of ROI. If I have 100K, I rather take 10k put it in crypto multiply it 10 times and the rest i put in conservative investments which is asb now on the other hand if you have that kind of money already and just sticking there not doing anything and you're transferring in and out is it worth it to put in ie in ipos before you put in your account say like uh you know asb uh, or so yes it's worth it okay if the money is floating somewhere and you want some little bit of extra income without any risk then yes IPOs are definitely worth it. So that's the answer. Please guys, think in terms of ROI, not just investing in IPOs, commodities, Forex and all. And that's why I invest in many things. I'm a multi-asset investor because I can pick which one has the highest returns, right? So think ROI, not about the money you're gonna make, okay? Because in the terms of IPOs, it's not worth it. Thank you very much, Sensei here, goodbye.